Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation. Today, I thought we'd show a little love to Invisible Woman. Now, she really hasn't got a whole lot of love from many people uh, because this uniform, it, it helped her out. I mean, it jumped her in World Boss about three to four stages, which isn't bad. It's definitely an improvement, but you know, it's not really worth buying because of these long cooldowns that they decided to put on here, man. Jesus, nine second cooldown. And when you're timing a damage proc, which procs about every seven seconds if you're doing constant hits, yeah, you gotta wait around a little bit. It takes some unique timing. A lot of people didn't care for them taking off this buff here. Doesn't bother me because she's doing a lot more damage. That fist skill does way more damage than it did before. And old girl is awesome, man. She really is, you know, with the immunity, the penetration of everything except for invincibility, the invincibility here with the hidden all defense down which will not be well it will work in our shadowland run but it's not going to work in gbr and plus she's got this nice attack buff plus she's got this passive here which this in ignores invisibility which is awesome totally cool this girl's got an awesome skill set man so let's run through the build real quick she has 28,000 energy attack she has 120 attack speed 121 attack speed 45 percent crit rate max critical damage more or less max ignore defense and max skill cooldown i got a little love an old girl first and last gears at 25 she has all five star urus and all of her gears are at six she has a stage six overdrive set and power of angry hawk would actually be better for her well let me look at something no, 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 let me look at that three. Ah, she gets six percent. Ah, I'd still put Power of Angry Hawk on her. But that's just my opinion. Just so you have that extra attack speed. And then I have a CTP of energy with a 200% damage proc. And her uniform is only at normal. So she doesn't have an... She has a good build, but it's not optimal. And guys, let me tell you what. This girl can murder GBR. She will murder that freaking thing but first let's take her into shadow land and let's see how she does let's rock and roll okay guys so we're gonna take on this floor 87 hulk rumble since sue's gonna have the type advantage and you need to bring a blast type in here anyways and she's gonna do this all on her own no supports no help she's gonna tear it up so let's get into the action Alrighty. Now the rotation for Shadowland and GBR are going to be a little bit different guys. I'm going to start off with the 4-5, get the damage proc on the 5th skill. I'm going to hit the 4-5, there we go, and you want that residual damage from that flame there. Then you're going to use the charm, then you're going to hit the 1, then 3. Get the all defense down. Now I'm going to hit, hit the charm, I'm going to hit the... And I'm waiting for the proc to get ready to come off cooldown, it's all cooldown, then I went back into the 4-5. When you're in Shadowland, you're going to have all these opponents, and you got to keep them locked down, you know? So you need to use her charm as much as possible, and I don't like canceling her fist skill. I really hate it. So sometimes I'll skip a rotation with the fist skill and just charm in between. For example, I would go 4-5, charm, 1-3, then I would do the charm again, skip the 4-5, do the 1-3, and then do the charm and go back into the 4 fifth. It's, it's a little bit of a nuisance, but you know, once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. But as long as you keep them locked down with that charm, you're good to go. You're good to go. Now there I squeezed in the 1 and the 3 before I did the 4-5. So I could get that all defense down on them before I landed that 4-5 combo. That really helps the damage guys getting that all defense down, tied in with your damage proc on your fist skill. I mean, fist skill does a lot of great damage, but when you got all defense down applying also, it's even better. So just something to think about. Takes a bit of practice, but old girl's got such amazing crowd control that it's okay. You know, if you skip a your know, proc on your fist skill, or what you guys can do is you can just go, you know, four, five, two, one, three, four, five, two, one, three, and just keep doing that. Just keep doing that same rotation. And sometimes your proc will end up on your three, sometimes it'll end up on your five. Either way, it's going to do good damage, whether it's on the three or the five. It's going to do better damage on the five from the testing I've done, but it still will do good damage if you do it on the three as well. And yeah, and the thing that's beautiful about Old Girl is that, you know, she crowd controls so well with that charm, but her skills also bring the characters together. So when she was taking on She Hulk and Amadeus and Hawkling, she was bringing them all together doing doing damage to all three of them at the same time. So she's taking down, you know, 14 million HP off three characters at the same time. So, you know, you figure 14 times three, was that, uh, 
12, 42 million. So she's taking down 42 million HP all at once because essentially it's like taking down 14 million HP because she's doing it to all three characters at once. Pretty awesome, man. And then we take down a big daddy here, the good old uh, V-Hulk. And yeah, tearing it up. Tearing it up. Maybe one of these days we'll actually get a real World War Hulk uniform in this game. One that actually represents the damage of what he should do. But yeah, guys, piece of cake, man. Easy peasy. Alrighty. Come on now. She just about got it. We're really pushing it, man. <laughs> one second left. Wow. That was a close call. So let's murder GBR. Alrighty, so we're going to be using Wasp Leadership, that 23% all attack, and plus we're going to use Wasp Debuff. You really want a debuff for Osu, but honestly, you could probably bring her in here without one, to be honest, guys. Uh, because she's damn strong, it won't take her that long to take it down. And uh, plus Wasp offers 10% HP to Sue, and we're using Valkyrie because of the 45% damage up to supervillains. You don't really want to use Coulson because Sue actually has guaranteed critical rate in her passive. And Coulson's guaranteed critical rate, the two will not stack, so you're getting a waste of stats, so better to bring a different support other than Coulson. And we look at the teams we got rolling with here. We got all tier twos, Captain Marvel, Shirog, Deadpool, Nick Fury, and Ghost Panther. Interesting, we'll see, we'll see. And all I'm doing here, guys, I'm just trying to keep the damage proc on the fifth, you know, the fifth skill. The all defense down isn't applying, so it doesn't even matter. And the difference between this and Shadowland is you have time to run around, to maneuver, so it's much easier to keep the damage proc on the fifth skill. It's a whole lot easier. You don't have to worry about trying to crowd control, which you can't do here anyways. You can't crowd control them anyways. But the Sentinels and Master Mold are sluggish and slow, so you can easily... For the most part, keep your damage proc on the fifth skill. Now we'll see if I do in this run. Now I just landed on the fifth skill there. I'm just gonna hit the, there. We got we got on the fifth skill again. And look at those bars, guys. They're just melting. She's freaking destroying this thing, murdering it. Look at this. Watch this. There's that damage proc. Two, three, four, five. I mean, <laughs> just look at those bars go bye bye, man. Wow. It's just, it's insane. Look at this. Already, guys, we're already in the next phase. Now, I don't know how much damage those other guys are doing because I never, I always like to let that be a surprise till the end of the fight. Aw, oh, man. Sorry, bro. Hate to see you go. That sucks. Probably got kicked out. That's been happening quite a bit lately. We're doing good so far, though. We're keeping that proc on that fist skill. It's Oh yeah, we got it again, guys. And doesn't that look cool with that big freaking flaming invisible bubble going on? That looks awesome. I'm mean, loving this crap, man. This, guys, this is super fun. Super, super, super fun. If you have Sue, bring her in here, man. Especially on the day that uh, Master Mold is a speed type. Or, I'm sorry, a combat type. Man, he freaking, she is murdering this thing, man. Look at her go. Easy. And like I said, guys, it's a lot easier to keep the damage proc where you want it. Because you can actually run around. You can. You don't have to worry about you know a bunch of opponents trying to hurt you. And there, my debuff protect me from mind control. Look at this girl, man. It's freaking nuts. One more shot, and he's dead. See ya, punk. So freaking awesome. And we didn't even use Nick Fury, guys, or even a stronger lead. Just just imagine if I would have used an OP team, man. Good lord. 70% of the damage in 2 minutes and 40 seconds, guys. Pretty insane. Wow, man. So let me know what you think about Osu, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.